This is the story of Mary Antoinette. Once upon a time, in a gated community called Calabasas, on the outskirts of Paris, there lived an outspoken young Habsburg named Mary Antoinette. Through a stunning feat of political maneuvering and good old-fashioned misogyny, Mary was sold into marriage to consolidate the warring states of Armenia and Los Angeles. But she made the most of it. She'd spun her lot into a long-lasting reality show called The Real Housewives of Versailles and developed several mid-tier fashion brands and iPhone apps dedicated to her trashy, relentlessly decadent, and yet somehow likable celebrity lifestyle. Her husband, Louis XVI, was a controversial rapper whose appeal was primarily limited to white, 30-something music bloggers. They were an unlikely couple, but somehow they made it work, siring off an offspring named North XVI, who was mainly raised by Guatemalan nannies in an off-site conservatory. When they weren't busy appearing together on red carpets, she wandered around their palatial McMansion, enjoying green tea enemas and stem cell facials, and constantly refreshing goop.com for more tips on how to become hopelessly out of touch with a common man. Yes, it seemed like the party would never end, but then, Mary noticed one day that her pool had been drained. Why is there no water in my pool? She demanded. I'm sorry, my queen, stuttered her terrified maiden. The king ordered that it be drained. Calabasas is experiencing a terrible drought. The king thought it would be unseemly to indulge in such luxuries whilst the realm's subjects are going without provisions such as Fiji, smart water, Arrowhead, or even Dasani. Bah! spat the queen. To hell with their smart water. Let them drink Coke and demanded that the pool be filled immediately. But things took a turn for the worst when the new season of Versailles came out on Wii Entertainment Television. Calabasas was an economic ruin, and the peasant class was on the verge of a bloody, guillotine-happy revolution. But it was Mary's plump, collagen-injected, but not unattractive lips that finally drove them over the brink. An angry mob gathered together and marched through the streets, screaming slogans like, We're the 99% and Queen Eight Fleek! Once inside the community, they tore the place apart. Terrified, Mary hid behind the royal family's $4,400 antique bar cart. I can't believe this, she thought. I thought you people loved me. Where would your mobile gaming life be without my wonderful apps? But the mob eventually found Mary and tossed her in prison. When the revolution was fully complete, they held a trial and Mary was sentenced to death. Do you have any last words? The priest asked before the blade fell. Yes, said Mary. You all? She paused for dramatic effect. Our haters. And with that, the blade fell, slicing her head clean off her well-tanned, not unattractive shoulders. And so, the kingdom of Calabasas never had any problems ever again. Unless you consider extreme xenophobia and lack of a competent military power a problem. Come back next time, and you'll hear the adorable tale of Air Bud, the basketball-playing pup who screwed over Mark Cuban in free agency. And even though Milan saved almost the entire army, she was kicked out for being a woman. They even made her shave her bush.